All right, happy Monday, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed your Halloween weekend. Um, today, we're starting off with that strength work again. So we've been working on the deadlifts every other week. So this is our deadlift week, going for three sets of four deficit deadlifts. So that means we're gonna be standing on a plate. So we're a little bit higher off the ground when we're pulling. We're working on building that strength in the low back and the posterior chain at a little bit of different position. So we're going deeper into that deadlift position. Three sets of four there, increasing in weight each set. And I want you to compare it to the last time. So two weeks ago, what you did there. Then we're gonna go into Romanian deadlifts, two sets of 15. We're gonna really focus on the hamstrings and the low back here, trying to really strengthen those two areas, guys, even the glutes as well. Keep the weights light for those 15 reps. They shouldn't be the same weight that you're using up here for the deficit deadlifts. After that, we're going into the wad. Quick one, AMRAP 10, just getting that uh, blood flowing. Three kettlebell swings, 10 double unders. Six kettlebell swings, 20, 9, 30, 12, 40, 15, 50, and so on. The goal of this workout is to keep that intensity high. So I want you to rev that engine up and I want you to hold it at that high intensity pace so that 80 to 90% um, effort for as long as possible, ideally for all of the AMRAP 10. So this should feel, this pace should feel un, a little bit uncomfortable, but you can still kind of push through it. Um, choose a weight where I would say be able to do all the way up to the 15s unbroken and the double unders uh, should be done unbroken to the 50s. If you can't do 50 double unders, go single skips today. If you're new to skipping, just keep the same reps. If you are kind of in the cusp between double unders and single unders, then uh, double the reps there. So go 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 uh, instead there. This workout, guys, again, intensity is high. So we want to get to the 15s and 50 or more in this workout. Uh, we're going to hit that endurance aspect as well, that muscle endurance aspect in the kettlebell swing. Specifically, you're probably going to feel this a little bit more in the forearms and shoulders just because you're holding on to it and then coming into a fatigue from the double unders. That double under is going to fatigue the shoulders and again, those wrists going into the kettlebell swings so you're going to feel a little bit taxed. So make sure you're being efficient with your movements so you can keep that high intensity pace rather than falling off and losing your pace. Um, make sure you guys track your wad and your strength. Guys, you can easily track this on Sugar Wad. We implemented this for the gym so you can um, check online in our blog on how to sign that sign up for it or simply just go to your app store whether you're using the ios or android um, operating system just go into your app store download sugar wad and then join cfw health and fitness and then the password you can find at our gym it's posted up on our whiteboard so just look uh come by their gym you'll see it on the whiteboard there use that access code to join our gym um, and then these wads will be posted on the whiteboard section or in the whiteboard tab um, when you join the gym. So you'll see that as soon as you open it up. Make sure you track it down so you know for uh, the following weeks what you're going to be doing or comparing to. Finally, guys, accessory 4x10. This is extra aside from the class. Four sets of 10 GHD sit-ups. So we're going to fire up that core, get that core nice and strengthened. Also work on the hip flexors and the psoas area. These are gonna be used a lot, again, in your hip extension and also in your squats. So when we go to work on front squats next week or any squat during the week, um, this is a great tool to really fire up those muscles and strengthen them. Hope you guys enjoyed today. We'll see you tomorrow for the next one.